Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. I'm fine. Uh, everything okay? Okay. I feel nice. I like to hear that, sir. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, sir. By learning tomorrow, uh, speaking English. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see here. What about the platform? Have you finished all the activities related with uh, the previous day or, or not? No. Which activity, teacher? Hello? Which activity? Ah, oh, talking about the platform, the platform. Oh, mm -hmm. The one in the platform. Platform. Okay, teacher. 
las de la plataforma. Si ya las terminaron. Uh, this week uh, I finished the homework. Okay. Well, let me see how many people, eight, only eight. Okay, um, English there, uh, Jose Alejandro, Mayra, Carlos, Edith, Esmeralda, and Alejandra, I guess. We don't have any name there. No tenemos nombres todavía de Asia. Okay, um, oh, maybe he has, he has something here. Okay, I got 11. Okay, we are going to start now because um, we have a lot of things to do today related with this topic. Let me just cut the attendance off. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Thank you, teacher, everybody, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome.
Okay, before to check up the uh, attendance, we are going to do something else. Okay, let's start with this exercise. Okay, I need that you read the sentence and you are going to tell me which one uh, we, I need to pick. Okay, who wants to read the poem? Quien quiere leer la primera? But hold, hold on a second, please. Me, teacher? Sure. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. A little elephant is hiding. Oh, hi. No sé cómo se dice hiding, Isha. Hiding, hiding. Hiding un, under his moon now. A little elephant is hiding under his moon now. Okay. It's right here. Aquí está escondido, mira. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, next. What about the next one? Somebody else. Alguien más. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, is? Okay, I need that you read the, the whole sentence. Necesito que lea la oración completa. Okay, a real cat is is a real cat is sitting on the swing at the moment. Okay, this a red cat, a red cat a is sitting cat. on the swing at the moment. Okay. okay. Excuse me, teacher, por entrar tarde, pero me estaba fallando el inter. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Dime eso que quiere yo ver. Okay. Somebody else? They are finished now. They are? Fishing. They are fishing now. Okay, they are fishing now. Okay, next, somebody else. Quien más? Who? The boys are jumping now. Oh, okay, the boys are jumping now. Okay. Next one. Alguien más? Uh, you are taking a photo at the moment. You are take, taking a photo at the moment. Yeah. Okay, next. A monkey? Is climbing the tree now. Oh, okay, a monkey is climbing, climbing the tree now. Escalando, climbing, climbing. Okay, next. Alguien más, por favor. We are we going are by going... the train now. Ok, vamos a levantar la mano para no aparecer varios. Ok, again. Otra vez. José Alejandro. We are going by train now. We are going by train now. Ok.
Okay, what about this? Smeralda? I am cleaving the tree now. ¿Cómo dijimos aquí ese verbo? Um, cleaving, clean, cleaning. No, no sé. Es como cleaving. Cleaving. Ah, Cli como cleaving. Ok, climb, climbing, climb. Climbing. The tree now, ok. I am. Alguien más, por favor. A lion is drinking water. A lion is drinking water. Is drinking water. Okay. Drinking water. Yeah, the last one, please. Somebody. The bears isn't working on the curve. The bear? The birds? Yes. Mm. Plural or singular? Plural. Plural. Aaron. Ok, léame la oración completa. Yeah. The birds aren't working on the grass. Okay, the bears aren't working on the grass. Ellos okay. no están. Okay. Okay, and this exercise, what I want to emphasize is that in order to use an ING form, we need to have a B form too. Lo que quise enfatizar en esta introducción fue que para hacer uso de un ING necesito una forma de B, ya sea positive or negative. Okay. Okay, let me check up uh, the attendance. Voy a, a revisar la asistencia. Before I forgot. Antes que la olvide. Okay, Alejandra. Por ahí la vi. Por ahí la vi. Present teacher. Ah, ahí está. Okay. Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria. No ha llegado. Eh, Azalia. There. Present teacher. Okay, Brenda. Present teacher. Brenda Yvette, Natalie yeah. Funes, Natalie Funes, Natalie, it's not here, Carlos, eh, Diana, present teacher, is there. Edith. Present. Emerson. Present teacher. Francisco. Francisco. Mm. 
now. Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Smile Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Jose. Okay, hold on. Yeah, Jose Alejandro. I present teacher. Julia Janet. Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sandra Yvette. Sandra. Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay. Ok, that is the end for today. Esa es la asistencia para el día de hoy. Nos hacen falta ahí un par de personas. Esperemos que se incorporen durante el proceso. Che, yo me había levantado, no sé si me anotó. Ana Victoria, Ana Victoria, Ana Victoria. Deje ver, deje ver, deje ver. Ana Victoria. No, 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 no. Ok, ok. Bueno, ahí solo tenemos tres personas que no están con nosotros. No hay más. Natalie no está. Eh, Francisco Javier. Ya sería la segunda consecutiva. Sandra Javier. Ok. Okay, let us continue then. We're going to start with this question. Vamos a iniciar con estas preguntas. Okay, let us start. What event are taking place at your workplace this day? And the second one said, there are these events taking place. Where are these events taking place? And the third one said, who is organizing them? Okay. You can write them down in your notebook in order that you can give me an answer. Two minutes in order to the you answer.
Okay, uh, I guess you already have the answer for this question. Who wants to answer it? What events are taking place at your workplace this day? Okay, let us start with the problem. ¿Qué eventos? ¿Qué eventos? Se van a dar estos días en su lugar de trabajo. Tell me. Come on, I need to you answer the first question. What events are taking place at your workplace this day? And the second one, where are these events taking place? Comprendemos esas preguntas. Um, yes, teacher, nos consulta qué próximos eventos harán en nuestra empresa, como por ejemplo... Se acerca el Día de la Tierra. Eh, en mi caso, se lo puedo decir en español para que tal vez usted me ayude a saber cómo se dice en inglés. In this office at eh, 27th April is anniversary. En, bah, eh, la empresa está de aniversario el 27 de abril. Okay, okay. That means that you are going to celebrate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of celebration are you going to have there? ¿Qué clase de celebración la empresa realiza? Como soy nue tengo poco tiempo, o sea, el año pasado no estaba para esa fecha. I don't know. Uh, you, you don't have any idea about Sí, lo que sí es tradición y que sí se hace se celebra los cumpleañeros cada mes el okay. último viernes del mes ok, ok they celebrate sí. together, right? Yeah. Yeah. ok, thank yeah. you somebody else wants to say something about this alguien más come on, I need that will you participate Vamos, vamos, vamos. You can do it, you can do it, but you need to try to answer. No se me duerman, no se me duerman. I'm going to show you again the questions. Okay, you have it there. What events are taking place at your workplace this day? Where are these events taking place? Where is going? Uh, they are going to be in, in your inner parts or where, where? Who is organizing them? Who is organizing? Okay, tell me. Dime, dime. No creo que no hayan eventos en sus empresas. Algo debe estar pasando. Tell me in English, please. Teacher. Hello. My birthday. <laughs> ah, okay. They are going to celebrate your birthday. Yes. Birthday employees. Okay. They... What day is your birthday? Uh, I am, oh. I am birthday in April. Okay, the, maybe the, the 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 question is, when's your birthday? When's your birthday? When's your birthday? When 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 when's, when oh, when is when when is your birthday? Birthday. Birthday. Okay. Birthday. Yeah, and you say, for example, uh, you can say April twenty. Un ejemplo, April 20 o April 21. De esa forma se dice. Okay. When's your 
Braden Companieri. My birthday is 29 April. April oh. 29. Don't forget to mention oh. for April 20. Okay, you are close. Okay, very good. Okay. And you? Okay, congratulations. April 17. No, April 7. Next week. Mm. Last week. Yep. Oh. Ah, okay. Congratulations. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Happy birthdays to all of you. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Um, in my company, there will be a special event that takes place every year. Collective banquet of love, and it is to raise funds. It is in Hacienda Los Miranda, and it is organized by the event area. Okay, it is organized. Organized. Okay, it is organized. By, by the event area. Okay. Somebody else, one more, please. Uno más, uno más. Carlos. Carlos. Carlos tiene mano arriba. Okay. Anybody else? Nadie más? No? No? Okay. Teacher. Hello, sir. Uh... Dice Carlos que estaba hablando, pero no lo, no lo escuchaba usted, dice. No, no, no. I, I, I was difficult for me to, to hear it. No sé, yo no le pude oír. The micro clock, tal vez. Uh, the microphone, maybe, is... No, it's open. Carlos, Carlos, could you repeat, please, if you are there? Mm, no, yo no le escucho tampoco. Si no, creo que nadie le oía. Ahí está escribiendo en el, en el chat. Deje ver, deje ver. Ellos sí, teacher. Estaba hablando, ¿los demás me escucharon? No. 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 Problemas con el micrófono, Carlos. Problemas con el micrófono. Okay, let us continue uh, with this conversation. <laughs> I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you can read it. Okay, try to read it. Uh, and then we are going to, I'm going to read it too.
Hola. <coughs> Me escuchan. Ok, now, now, now I can hear you. Ahora sí. Dino, Carlos. Ah, no, este, es que estaba en, en, el, en el ejercicio anterior. Este, oh. Usted estaba diciendo que una última persona. Y yo estaba hablando, pero no me servía el micrófono. No sé qué pasó. No, no le oíamos, pero sí le vamos a oír ahorita. Chavas. Ah, eh, yo había puesto, bueno, yo había escrito, We going play soccer the next Friday with others company in the night. Oh, ok, at, at night, ok. At night, ok. Ok, perfect, thank you. Ok, let us continue. Ok, we are going to continue with this conversation. Listen to your teacher. Then practice with a partner, ok? This conversation is between Rita and Luis. Okay, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is taking place. Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the material arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Share. Hello. Repeat as the finally line. The oh, Rita. Finally line. Rita. Okay, Rita, say got Repeat, it. Please. Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Got it. Yes, got it. Got it. I said got it. Got it. Got and it. Because somebody is asking me a question and somebody said, do you know? Got it. Como quien dice, sabe? Where, where are the materials arriving? Cuando viene el material, sabes? Y le dice, got it. In got it. Yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the material arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, question about, question about, please. Preguntas, preguntas. Preguntas. No? No question, teacher. Teacher. Hello? La pronunciación de acá de donde dice at attending, ¿cómo? ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Attending. Attending. Yeah, attending. Conference. Thank you. Capo. 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 
de las nubes que andaba. Okay, um, if you don't have any question, let us practice. Questions? If not, uh, take a, a screenshot, please. Si no, haga uh, una captura, por favor. Okay, teacher. Okay, I got 13. It's going to be difficult to create a breakout room. Okay, vean, antes de, de asignarlos, asegurémonos de que todos puedan aceptar la invitación para que puedan practicar con sus compañeros. So please, I need to all you as soon as you see my invitation. Click on it in order that you can add to the breakout room and you can practice with your classmate, please do it, do it, do it. Okay, here we go. A segment in the patient.
Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Teacher, volviendo del breakout room, dice que recording in progress. Entonces, quizás sucede lo mismo de anoche que no graba lo del breakout room. Permítame. Teacher. Hello. Teacher, fíjese que en el curso anterior, el teacher que nos daba las clases igual nos ponía en sala, pero tal cual cuando estábamos en sala no se grababa. Solo él lo que hacía es que nos ponía por un periodo más largo a practicar y él iba sala por sala revisando, ¿verdad? Sí. Y preguntaba. Entonces, cada vez que él se metía en una sala, volvía a grabar. Pero en efecto, como dice la compañera, cuando estamos nosotros solitos, no graba. De verdad. Ajá. Ya cuando usted entra, por ejemplo, así como ayer que le pedimos ayuda, si sí. usted ingresa a una sala, eso sí lo graba. Ok, sí, comprendo. Comprendo. Lo que sucede es que, eh, eso es bueno, el comentario. Lo que sucede es que a veces, por ejemplo, debido a lo que vi ayer y los días anteriores, me quedo pendiente para ver quién se ha quedado solo y asistirlo, porque algunas veces no todos entran o algunos se desconectan. Entonces estoy pendiente viendo a ver quién se quedó solito o para moverlo de, 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 de run. Pero sí está muy bien la observación. Ok, who wants to practice the conversation here? ¿Quién quiere practicar la conversación? Eh, Alejandra. Yes, teacher, pero no sé si mi pareja que me tocó en el room quiere participar. Mi teacher. Ok, tú eres. Ok, no sé quién es quién. De hecho, sé si así. Eh, démosle a Alejandra, le voy a, le voy a ayudar. Luis, Rita o Luis. Um, Rita. Eh, empiece, pues. Dale. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, should tell me. I want to know who are attending the new, the annual conference this year and where is taking place. Where well, is that in attending and the conference is taking place in the great room, Rita? By the way, when are the material arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, ahí estamos. Okay, thank you. Eh, Le puedo dar con Ana Victoria, teacher. Ella es mi compañera. Okay. Ana Victoria. Hola. Are you ready? Okay. I am Rita. Who are you? Uh -huh. Rita. Dale, pero. Vamos. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, should tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is taking place. Well, there is sad and is attending in the conference is talking place in the great room Rita. By the way, where are your material arriving? Arriving, do you know? 
Hey, get up. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Thanks, Elena. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. So Maria wants to do it. No sé si mi compañerita quisiera pasar conmigo, teacher. Solo que yo hoy por la lluvia sí no puedo poner la cámara porque no. se me desconecta. Okay, okay. No. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, no sé. Si no, aquí estamos listos. I am here. I am ah. here. <laughs> no. Ahí está Maritza. Gracias. Por ahí está, Maritza. Ahí está. Maritza, di, solo dígame quién es usted y ahí vemos, inicia usted o yo. Rita. Eh, ok. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where it is taking place. Well, did staff in attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, where, where the materials arrive, do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, thank you. Thank you, partner. Okay, Julia Janet. Hello, teacher. Eh, mi compañero fue eh, Carlos. Entonces... Hello. Carlos is there. Hola. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Um, Start. Uh, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, uh, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure. Tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and um, where is, is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the Greek room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are. They are arriving on Friday morning. Thank you, Rita. Okay, thank you. Okay, somebody else? No. Yes, teacher. Okay, do it. That's all. Um, Edith, creo que. No, Esmeralda. Esmeralda, sorry. <laughs> es que como. Ay, sí, sorry. Esmeralda. Okay. Okay, no problem. And you? Eh, Rita. Luis? Good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where it is taking place. Well, the East staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way. When are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? No?
Okay, let us continue, then if you if you don't want to participate. Okay, activity number three, figure it out, complete the questions. Here's the conversation about to help yourself. We have three different questions. Are the material arriving? Is attending the conference? And number three, is the meeting taking place? You can take a look at the conversation and answer these three questions. You have it there in your material too. If not, what you can do is just to take on a screenshot and write it down in your notebook if you want. I don't know if somebody wants to resolve number one. Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you complete the question and then you can share it. Teacher. Hello. En la uno sería, when are the materials arriving? Okay. No. Let me show you, let me show you. Okay, number one, are the material arriving? Number two, who is attending the conference? Who's attending the conference? Okay. Next. Next. Number three. Number three. Uh, number three is uh, where is the meeting taking place? Okay, where, where is the meeting taking place? Okay. Okay, thank you. As you can see, uh, we are using the member in a uh, progressive move with IGMG at the end. In order that we can do this, we need to remember some rules because sometimes we need to do something in order to add it. So try to remember some rules. To add IGNG to the verb, which is known by many as present participle, we must take into account the following spelling rules. Para agregar un ING a los verbos, los cuales son conocidos como presentes participios, nosotros debemos de tomar en cuenta las siguientes reglas de deletreo. Number one, in most verbs, it is enough to add ING. For example, it, eating, as, asking, go, going. Number two, 
If the verb ends in E, remove the E before adding ing. For example, take, taken, wake, waking, ride, riding, come, coming, dance, dancing. Okay, let me know if you have any question about this. Two rules first. So please check up, check up, check up and tell me. Por ahí dicen las reglas, por favor, y me, me, me dicen si está todo claro o hay algo que explicar. Okay, question. In this moment, no teacher. In the practice, it's possible to hand question. <laughs> okay, just at the moment that uh, we are going to talk about. Okay, okay I got it. Okay, let us read number three. Is the word ends in... Uh, I e delete the I e and add Y I N G. For example, die, dying, time, time, life, line. Okay, take a look at this one. Cuando un verbo termina en una I e, quitamos el I e y agregamos uh, Y I N G. For example, die, dying, time, time, life, line. Okay, and number four. Si el verbo acaba en vocal, if the verb ends in a vowel plus consonant, we need to double the consonant before to add a change. For example, stop, stopping, swim, swimming. Ojo, ¿cuándo va a suceder? Y esto lo dejé así en español precisamente por eso. Si el verbo termina en vocal más consonante, hay que duplicar la consonante. Ojo, stop. Vocal consonant. Stop, stopping, swim, swim. Run, running, begin, beginning. Enojo. In United Kingdom, los verbos acabados en L double, doblan la L. Solo en el Reino Unido, travel, traveling. Cancel, canceling. Sucede solamente en el Reino Unido. But beware or be careful. Cuidadito, cuidadito. If it ends in Y or W, we do not double. Si termina en Y o en W, no se duplica. This is because in English phonetic, Y and W are considered semi vowels Y esto es porque en inglés, en la fonética inglesa, se considera a la Y y la W como semi vocales example play playing by buying draw drawing borrow borrowing question now questions hey teacher no um como um en el anterior en el, es como en la in UK, is in, in English in UK, is como solamente ahí en los verbos acabados en el, doblan la el. En, en el, ya en el uso de inglés normal, en inglés americano, 
ahí no lleva, digamos, traveling, ya no tiene que llevar el I, uh, doble L. Ya no se da. Solamente por eso has, a, hace la aclaración ahí. Que uh -huh. solamente es en el Reino Unido que pasa eso. Es, okay. It is the same like uh, the word color, color. O favorites. Esas, esas palabras eh, llevan una letra más en, en el inglés eh, británico. Color. O favorites. But that is another issue. Yeah, okay. Okay, and the last part is the stress that's not full on the last syllable. We do not double. Ojo, si la fuerza de voz no recae en la última sílaba, no la duplicamos. Por ejemplo, listen, listening, remember, remembering, not. The third one, syllable it. It's. Okay, two syllable, forget. Okay, hold on. I need to move this a little bit. Forget, forget. La palabra forget tiene dos sílabas. De tres sílabas diría remember. Remember. Como les dije la vez anterior, las sílabas en inglés las contamos de acuerdo al sonido, no al número de letras. Okay, going back again with our topic, regresando al tema que nos corresponde. Okay, uh, right here says how to use present continuous with WH question. ¿Cómo voy a hacer para usar el presente continuo con WH word questions? Okay, WH question ask for specific information. Las palabras que van con WH que se usan para preguntar. Información específica. Structure uh, w, WH word plus B plus subject plus where agent plus complement. And we have what, when, where, why, which, who, and how. I guess that all of you know these words. It's not just let me know. What about the example? Who wants to read the first example? ¿Quién, quién lee el primer ejemplo? Only one, please. Only one. Solo uno, no more than one. Who is it? ¿Quién? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Why is he meeting the new people today? Okay. Why is he meeting the new people today? Because, then you start giving an explanation, the reason why. Number two. Number two, who wants to read it? Quien quiere leerla? Número dos. When is the new office launching? Oh, okay, when is the new office launching? It is launching on April 28th. Could be an example. Okay, but what I, what I want that you see here is that relationship between uh, the WH word with the ING sentence. It is just connect. It is connected. Okay, number three. Somebody wants to read it. Can lay the number three. Please do it. Mi teacher, but no sé si se va a ir un poco de lluvia. Voy a tratar. Where is the boss having the annual meeting? Okay, thank you. Where is your boss having the annual meeting? And we missed the question mark. The IA so far the signal the question. Okay, where is your boss having the annual meter? In okay, and you are going to give an answer. 
So uh, try to keep the structure. Les invito a que si no han hecho una captura, al menos tomemos la estructura de las de estas uh, preguntas, por favor. Try to do it now, please. Okay. Do you have it in your notebook? Yes. Yes. Okay, before uh, before that, we need to take a look at the affirmative form and negative form of the present continuous. And also interrogative. Because we are talking about WH questions. But hold on a second, please. Hold on a little bit. Let me adjust something here. Okay, as you can see here in the present continuous affirmative, we are going to use B plus ing verb. For example, I'm working, she is talking, he is laughing, it is raining, they are singing, they are cooking, or you are smiling. This is an affirmative. I don't know if you can see it very well. No sé si lo podemos ver muy bien. Okay, with the present continuous in negative, we use be plus not plus ing plus verb. For example, I am not walking. She's not talking. He is not laughing. It is not raining. They are not singing. They are not cooking. You are not smiling. And the last part, when we talk about present continuous in interrogative, we use be followed by the pronoun or the subject. We switch. Am I walk, walking? Is she talking? Is he laughing? Is it raining? Are they singing? Are we cooking? And are you smiling? It's missing the, the, the question mark there too. Okay, question about this? No? Preguntas? Hello. Moment, teacher. Uh, do you need that I go back or what? Oh. 
Okay, hold on a second. Let, let me do something else. Let me get bigger this letter because it looks uh, too small. Okay, I don't know if you can see it very well. No sé si ustedes pueden verlo muy bien. Okay, you can create a screenshot. Pueden hacer una captura. Okay, no question. Let us see some example here. If the verb is run, how can I create a sentence using uh, ing? Si el verbo es run, ¿cómo puedo crear esa oración? Chao. Carlos. He is running. Okay, bingo. It is there. Take a look. He's running. He's running. We double the, the, the last consonant. Aquí aplicamos una de las reglas que ya dijimos. And we have a question too. What's he doing because remember that we are talking about wh question what's he doing y observe como combinamos eh, las wh word question with the ing2 como se hace la combinación para hacer la pregunta the question what's he doing and the answer he's running okay uh, at the moment that you see uh, something that is, it is not clear, just let me know, please. Okay, what about this one? If the, if the verb is sink, how can I ask the question? ¿Cómo puedo hacer la pregunta? Tell me. They are sink, teacher. No, the question, the question first. Oh. What they do? Are, you... are they singing? That mm. is a question. What they do? Oh, 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 oh. Something is missing, something is missing. Take a look, take a look. Are you seeing teacher? No. Okay, but hold on. They aren't singing. Take a look at the question. Vea la pregunta. Remember the structure that I already explained to you. La estructura dice lo que tenemos ahí. WH word, B form, pronoun and the main verb and the question mark. What are they doing? They are singing. Okay, and la siguiente, and la siguiente. Okay, fly. Question and sentence in positive. Dime. Tell me.
It is flying. Only one, please. No sé si la pregunta es what it is, perdón, what is it doing? What's the plane doing? The answer is, how is the answer? The plane is flying. Okay, let us see. It's flying in the sky. Okay, what about this one? I need the one tell me the question and somebody else give me their sentence. What is he doing? Okay, take a look. What this man doing? He is walking. He's walking. Okay, what about this one? This shit is jumping. Okay, let me see. Remember that we are going to use a WH word question. What's the shit doing? Is she doing jumping? It is jumping. Okay. The shit doing jumping. It's jumping over the fence. It's jumping over the fence. Teacher, ¿por qué es over the fence? Sí, porque está saltando sobre la cerca. Ah, ah eso es. The fence is uh, la cerca. cerca. The fence. Jumping over. Over. Sobre la cerca. Yes. Oh, okay, teacher. 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 Hello? A uh, question. Eh, siempre que es un objeto o un animal, 
usan Ah, kit. ajá, sí, eso sí, lo comprendo, solo lo que tengo de la duda es siempre se va a mencionar la acción a sobre qué lo está haciendo o de en el lugar que lo está haciendo, como por ejemplo, acá está saltando la barda, el avión estaba volando en el cielo, Yes. entonces como siempre tiene que aclararse el lugar donde está haciendo, donde está ejecutando la acción en ese momento. En this, Para dejarlo claro. ok, en this case, en este caso, como estamos hablando de eh, oraciones en tiempo continuo, entonces aquí especificamos qué es lo que está sucediendo. Porque la pregunta arriba es bien clara, dice, what is the ship doing? ¿Qué está haciendo la oreja? Entonces decimos, ella está saltando sobre la cerca. Bien específico. Sí, yo digo, uh, is so, solamente it is jumping, está mal, o no puedo solamente estar saltando, no puedo decir, uh, está incorrecto si yo lo digo, solamente está saltando, o está, vol está volando, no sé, es como un poco redundante, tal vez lo sentí en el tema del avión, lo sentí Sí. como está volando en el cielo, entonces como es un poco redundante, pero no sí, sé si es. ah, ok, le explico algo. La redundancia en inglés es muy común, en español no. Solo le pongo un ejemplo así rapidito. Ahí está la redundancia. Ima imagínense que en inglés decimos nosotros, ask a question. Ahora, si usted observa el significado de la palabra as, del verbo ask. Es preguntar, pregunta Ah, una pregunta. ah entonces, Question. entonces al decirlo así, así, así sonaría literalmente. Entonces, pero nosotros ya sabemos que cuando pasa eso están diciendo haz una pregunta en español para no estar diciendo preguntarle una pregunta. <ríe> ¿Sí? Sí, correcto. Ok, ok. Gracias. Ok, welcome. What about this one? Ok, who wants to uh, create a question? What is he doing? When or what? What is he doing? Okay, in this case, uh, we have only yes, is the boy written? But if we are going to apply the WH word, si aplicamos y hacemos la pregunta con what, entonces ahí diría, what is the poet written? Well, hold on. Entonces estaría antes de esto, ¿qué está leyendo? ¿Sí? Entonces ya no sería yes, he is, sino que sería he is reading a, a grammar book. ¿Por qué? Porque el WH son preguntas de información y estas son yes, no, question. Ah, uh, ok. Si comienzan con is, es fácil. Yes, he is, no, he is. Pero si comienzan con what, son de information. Ok. Ok, the next one say play the guitar. How can you create the question? ¿Cómo puedo hacer la pregunta? Chao. Me.
No. La pregunta puede ser is is he playing the guitar? Okay. Is Messi sing sing playing tennis? No, he isn't. Is Mr. Mr. Singh playing tennis? No, he isn't. Ahora, si, la, si le ponemos WH antes, ¿cuál sería? Sería what, when, why, which one? ¿Cuál? Tell me. What? ¿Será? Porque si ya tengo tenis, aquí podría decir Why is Mr. Sin playing tennis? ¿Por qué? Ok, let me see the time. Ok, I'm, I'm going to stop here. I have a lot of information. Ok, he's playing the guitar. Okay, hold on a second. Let me try to move to another activity. Okay, hold on a second. Let us work on exercise number four on page number 36. Ejercicio 4 de la página 36. I'm going to show you now in order that you can do it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, exercise number four. Based on the implementation goal, uh, fill the plan using the words in parentheses. Example, what company are you working for? Ojo con esto. What company are you working for? Okay, remember that you are going to need a, a B form. Van a editar una forma del B para hacer. Okay. We have it there. Ahí lo tenemos. Try to resolve the, the next four points. La siguiente cuatro, por favor. You can uh, take a screenshot and start working in your notebook, please. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Creo que ya ustedes tienen su captura.
Okay, let me know as soon as she finishes, please. Tan pronto finalice, por favor, me lo confirma. Okay, number two, please tell me. Hello, who wants to answer it? Can you respond it? Number two, number two, please. Me, teacher. Okay. How? Is he dividing the group? The group? How say the groups? How is he dividing the groups? Uh -huh. Is he dividing? Dividing the groups. The groups. Okay. Divide in the group. Ah, I love the name. Sorry. How is he dividing the groups? Okay, number number three, Carlos. Um, I have a question. Ah, okay. Eh, según con unos eh, apuntes, bueno, yo tengo unos apuntes, usted okay. pasó una diapositiva. Okay. Y decía que cuando terminaba en I y en, en, en vocales, I y en E, uh -huh. agregaba una Y y el ING. No sé si, si también es para esos casos o no sé. Mm, ok. O no sé si yo he entendido más. Sí, la regla está mal ubicada porque en este caso eh, está terminando en E. Ahora, yo sé que usted, por ejemplo, está pensando en el MC1 example. Bueno, había una regla por ahí que decía cuando un verbo, por ejemplo, yo tengo el verbo cry. Entonces, ¿ahí qué es lo que hago? Simple. I add a change. As simple as that. Pero ya vamos a revisar la regla para ver cuál es realmente en la que hay confusión. Y esa regla parecía en la que yo le mostré. Eh, sí, según lo que yo apunté, pero igual no sé si yo me estoy equivocado. Sí, pero... eh, Creo que es cuando, cuando igual ahorita, ahorita sí me equivoqué porque yo creí que terminaba con, con dos vocales, con I y con E, pero no solo era con E. Pero igual este... Ok, cuando... let, us, let us make a review. Let us make a review. Sí, me gusta eh, clarificar bien esto. Vamos a ver, ok, let me see here. Ok, me dice si es la... Which number? Ah, okay. Now, number two, this number and and E. Remove the E before adding a G. 
Ojo, si el verbo termina en una E, muévalo antes de agregar ING. That is what uh, happened in that verb. For example, take, we drop the E and add ING. Aquí se cumple. Pero veamos cuál será la que usted dice. Ah, maybe this one. Creo que aquí está su conclusión, en esta parte. Sí, esa es. Sí, pero aquí dice, si el verbo termina en I, E, las dos vocales. Tienen que estar las dos vocales. Sí, es que yo creí que no, no, no leí bien, yo creí que terminaba con esas vocales la, la, la oración. <risa> ah, okay. Entonces, por eso era la pregunta. Ok, sí, pero está bien y por eso le clarifico para que por si alguien más tenía la duda eh, ya quedamos claros. Bueno, gracias, muchas gracias. Ok, ok. Ok, number three, number three, please, number three. Número Ok, tell me, tell me. Uh, when is she handing the check? When is she handing the checks? When is she handing? Okay, we have check there. Okay, number four. Number four. Which factors? See? Wait factory, wait factory, your boss visit this month. Which factory, your boss visit this month? Is your boss visiting? This month. Okay, and number five is why um, number five did you? Excuse me? Okay. Why the new secretary? Well, the next Saturday. Okay, okay. Recapitulemos. Again, otra vez. Why is the new secretary? Ah, okay. Is the new secretary? Secretary. Uh -huh. Where? Where the next Saturday. Saturday. Where? Okay. The next Saturday. Working. Okay. Working. Working. <laughs> Why okay. is the new secretary working? Working, right, right. Ahí está, se me están dejando, me están dejando de lado el ING. I am asleep. <laughs> okay, the next step is going to be this one. Okay, number five. Number five said, letter A, think of some future event of your classmates. Let it be right five questions to ask your classmate about those events. Piense en algunos futuros eventos de sus compañeros. Escriba cinco preguntas a sus compañeros sobre esos eventos en let us see say, take note of their answer. Okay. Okay, try to write down five questions and then you are going to ask those five questions to somebody else. Pensando en algunos eventos que se puedan dar en, 
en el lugar de trabajo. But if you if you want to do something else, let, let me let me finish you. Okay, I guess it's gonna be better uh, if you create the questions. Será mejor si hacemos las preguntas así usando al inicio wh and you are going to add a gng to the verb. Okay, teacher. Por ejemplo, podría ser imagine you see. One of your siblings that is uh, on the desk now. It is it's in front of the desk. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe as soon as you finish your class, you are going to ask him, why are you, why are you reading now? Imagínense que vea a su hijo o a su hija todavía después de que se termine de, de la clase y lo ve sentado ahí en el escritorio. Entonces usted y usted le pregunta por qué estás estudiando o estás leyendo a esta hora. Maybe he's going to answer you and he's going to tell you because tomorrow I have an exposition, tomorrow I have an exam. Okay. I, that kind of question that is what I want okay tell me dime dime Why are you working now? Why are you working now? Okay, why are you working now? Okay. Good question, good question. Because I had to finish a report, could be an answer. Okay. Because I need to check up some budget for tomorrow. Could be another answer. Okay, somebody else, somebody else. ¿Quién más pregunta? Hello? Okay, imagine that you miss your bus and you got a taxi. As soon as you get off the taxi, you start running and somebody asks you, why are you running? Imagínese que la dejó el bus, toma un taxi, se baja del taxi, cuando llega a su empresa y sale corriendo y alguien le pregunta, why are you running? ¿Por qué estás corriendo? What is the answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Because, porque, uh -huh. tell me the reason. Because it's raining. Uh -huh. Okay. There are a lot of uh, different options that you can use. Okay, another question, please, let, let, let me know about. Otra pregunta, otra pregunta, tenemos que... Teacher. Hello. Why am I late for the office? Okay, repeat, repeat the question. Why I am late for the office? Pero le pregunto, ¿dónde está el ING ahí? Mm. 
Maybe if somebody else is. Entonces sería why. Are you maybe coming late? I why late. are you coming late? Late. ¿Por qué vienes? ¿Por qué estás viniendo tarde? Why are you coming late? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Working the office. Yeah, because uh, what we are doing is just to make a, a mix with WH word question and the ING form. Estamos haciendo una mezcla entre preguntas de información con verbos en presente okay. continuo. Okay. Otro ya no hay. No? Mi teacher. Okay. Um, the question sería, where are your parents visiting? The question is, when are you parents visiting and visiting? Pregunto, ¿dónde está el ING ahí? Uh, visit, visit, visit. Okay, if I go back again. In this space, I need to write down the questions. But I'm going to use one of these words. Voy a usar una de estas palabras para iniciar mi pregunta. Y luego sí, el sí. debe de llevar ING. Right here, we have the structure. WH word plus B plus subject plus bear in action G form and plus the complement. Teacher. Okay, tell me. Simple. Uh, why are you working so late at the office? Why are you working so late? At the office. In the office. Because there was traffic. Okay, because I'm preparing a report, I'm preparing the payroll for the next week. Estoy preparando la planilla para la siguiente semana. I'm checking some catalog about the new product and the new material that I need to buy in order to continue working in our company. Estoy revisando un catalogo de producto para poder... Eh, Seguir elaborando. Because there is a lot of work. Ah, oh, could be another option. Pero eso es lo que yo les digo, miren, son pocos. Deberían todos de aprovechar la oportunidad de poder participar. Yo sé que algunos están en otras actividades. Para ellos es difícil, pero quien pueda... Trate de hacerlo, por favor. Ok, let me see the time that we have here. Veamos. Let me see the time. Ok, ok. We are so close to finish. Um, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No? Pregunté. Teacher. Hello, sir. Eh, you decir why is Sarah arriving at work? Why? Is I arriving at work? Ok, pregunto. Pregunto lo siguiente. Yo no tengo cómo perderme si yo tengo esta estructura. En esta estructura están los componentes. Si yo cumplo con todo esto, mi oración está bien. Va, y Santen es Mesen. Si algo hace falta de esto, entonces ahí estamos en problemas. Ustedes pueden hacer como 
como una cajita y ir buscando, ah, qué palabra aquí, luego en esta, en esta, en esta. Mm. Sí, porque ah, hay algunas que se la, las están odiando, entonces no debe de ser. It is like if I find you in a different area. Imagine that I am the boss, the share manager of the company. Imagínese que yo soy el jefe de la compañía y lo encuentro en una oficina que no es la suya. Entonces, la pregunta podría ser, what are you doing here? Más si lo veo así como sospechoso, ¿sí? ¿Qué está haciendo acá? Could be. Pero ahí estoy usando toda la estructura que ya expliqué. Eso de las estructuras es, es importante porque es, es como que el patrón que nos guía, así como al sastre, que él ya tiene este, algo como el que hace el corte. Bueno, algunos hoy ya no hacen corte, tienen grandes habilidades, pero al inicio sí. Entonces, it is the same, the same happen. Lo mismo sucede. Ok, thank you. Let me check up the attendance. Vamos a revisar eh, la asistencia because it's, it is time. Let me see here. Ok, Alejandra. Present teacher. Ana Victoria. Present. Asalia. Sí. I am here, teacher. Ok, Brenda. I am here, teacher. Ok, Natalie, Natalie. Ya no se conecta Natalie. Eh, Carlos. I here, teacher. Diana. Present, teacher. Eh, Natalie mandó un mensaje, me mandó un mensaje diciéndome de que no había luz en su voz. En su, en su área ahí donde vive. ¿Quién? Por eso no se había conectado. Brenda Natalie. Brenda Natalie. Ah, Brenda Natalie. Sí. Ok. No power on. Ok, ok. Edit, edit. Present. Ok, um, uh, Emerson. Say hello, Emerson. Francisco. Ya, Fran, ya lleva tres con esto. Ingrid. Present, teacher. Ok, uh, Ismael. I'm here, teacher. Ok, José Alejandro. Hi, present, teacher. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Okay, ahí está Julia Janet. Eh, Mayra. Present teacher. Andrea Iber. Sandra Iber, no la vi hoy. Sonia. Sonia. I'm present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see. This is class number 13. Me corresponde entonces. No, yo creo que no, no te viste. Si solo se ve la puntita de la silla y vos pasaste allá. Si sí tengo la cámara encendida. Me ve? corresponde a... Sí, la cámara encendida. Y el micrófono abierto. <laughs> That is usually happen. Don't worry about it. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Okay, no problem at all. Okay, according to my list, uh, this is class number 13. Le corresponde a José Alejandro Alvarado si tiene alguna pregunta, su tutoría 10 minutos al final. Uh, for the rest, thank you very much. Yeah,
Good evening. Thank uh, you, good, night. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. Okay, Alejandro. Aquí estamos, teacher. Okay, any question, any question or any topic that we have studied until now? Alguna pregunta? De lo que eh, todo, todo está clear. Ya, let me know. Eh, no, solo con, lo, con la fórmula que, que me puse ahí, me, me quedé algo medio en la luna, teacher. Con la, con la fórmula que puso, como va primero el cuad, como el jugador o qué es lo, lo que está haciendo va después lleva el verbo después del verbo lleva lo que va está haciendo después de lo que está haciendo pero lo que está haciendo ya lo lleva eh, que ver que ya lo lleva haciendo ya lo que directamente está haciendo eh, la otra Y después ya termina con el complemento. Si sí. más no me equivoco, así, así va. va. Yes. Oh, ok, teacher. Try, try, to, try to keep in mind because this is the structure. WH where plus B form. Mm -hmm. Plus subject plus ver and ya agent plus the complement and the question mark at the end. Ah, no, me estaba, com me estaba comiendo el sujeto. Yes, y también uh -huh. el signo de pregunta. Ah, uh, más de uh, para cerrarla. Va. Yes. Oh, ok, teacher, eso es lo que eh, me estaba, me estaba haciendo falta para, es lo que, pues lo que tenía duda ahorita. Ok, perfecto. Pero, pero además, pues ahí vamos, viendo cómo lo mejoramos día a día. Ok, thank you very much. Así es, teacher. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Okay, bye.